test the LTE technology out in the middle of nowhere, really, uh, in Duncan, New Mexico. And uh, we've got a crew of, to provide a demonstration of the bandwidth capabilities of the LTE technology. Uh, we're all real excited, and uh, I think that uh, what we're going to be able to see is that uh, 10 can provide, uh, through the use of this technology, uh, a higher level of bandwidth uh, ever realized uh, in, uh, from the oil and gas fields uh, for the oil and gas industry. This technology that we're going to see here is, um, it is the cutting edge technology. Where um, the application for this is actually pretty interesting. This technology is essentially being adapted by carriers all around the world uh, for traditional voice, but predominantly more for mobile data, right? That we would use as consumers. Um, smart grid technology. There's, there's. It's been a WiMAX has been a technology that's been currently used. Rapid shift to LTE as this is coming on board. So 30 megabit file we downloaded in 7.7 uh, .7 seconds. This technology is actually able to be suited to do all that robust machine-to-machine -machine type of capability, uh, much more so than like the traditional what I'd call cellular technologies that were focused on voice first and we added data later. This is data from the ground up. And they finished a 6 megabit, a 30 megabit file at 41.17 seconds, the upload file. So now I'm going to initiate the video conferencing call. So what is your up and down link, Joe, over there? Okay. My up and down link, my video call right now, is around 725, 750 uh, kilobits per second. So same thing, my uplink is a 7.48 and my downlink is a changing between 500 and 700 megabit, depend on my fading. Right now we're three and a half miles away from the site into a deep fade, so the Omni antennas that are on the truck, uh, you cannot connect or you can't maintain any throughput. So what we're doing is we are going to use external Yagi antennas with various gains and we're going to point them back towards the site so that we can reestablish a connection on the uplink. Uh, and then we'll see that by using these high gain antennas, where you couldn't use a unity gain omni, you can now establish a connection and get decent throughput by uh, using these external antennas. And then the service level agreements, which just go into the, the strength of the network and how it's deployed, that it's a, it's a carrier grade network. And then finally, encrypted and secure communications. We believe that if you shorten that distance from the oil field to the office, and if you get that data into the office area quicker, you can maximize efficiencies, lower production costs. And here we have literally a machine-to-machine -machine application with the, the oil and gas segment. So we from Alcatel Lucent are extremely excited about partnering with Texas Energy and, and this, uh, in this sector in, in basically applying technology in, in a very unique and innovative way. You know, for me, I've been in the telecommunications industry for about uh, 30 years, and when I look at uh, the value of technology like this, when you're looking at remote locations, once you deploy it, you've got broadband capabilities. Uh, very, very impressive technology. I'm here with uh, Texas Energy Networking, uh, investigating LT technology, loading uh, 30 meg files in over 27 seconds. From what I saw here, there's probably uh, some good uh, applications for video and uh, uh, SCADA type uh, installations.